Uh, the team really appreciates how everyone's coming together and you know this has uh, affected a lot of people and it's affected the whole hockey community and uh, just goes to show how close you know everyone is in, in this sport and it's been really nice uh, to get all the support from everyone. Do you worry about um, the emotion when you you know when you're going to play your next game and you got to focus on the game like you got some kind of split focus? How do you work with that? Um, we'll work on it all week. Uh, just get back to basics right now and. Uh, See how it goes. We're just going to play it out, and it's going to be emotional, but we got to get through it. How was stepping on the ice for the first time you got hurt today uh, as a team? Um, I think it was good for us. Uh, all the boys got out, and you know we worked hard. Um, getting back into a routine is uh, really helping us out, and I think that's the best thing for us right now. And a lot of guys can go out on the ice and. Uh, Really, uh, you know, just focus on hockey, and that's good. Take our mind off of other things, and uh, just getting back out there was good for everyone today. What can you tell me about what's over your heart there? Yeah. Um, this is the crest we uh, we decided to put on the jerseys. Uh, everyone on the team will be wearing one, and uh, it's just another small tribute to Mickey. What does it mean to have it on there every game? Uh, it's it's you know it's just another thing. To remind us, uh, you know, why we're playing and who we're playing for, and how hard he worked, and you know, the heart that he showed every game, and we got to start showing. And uh, he's going to be with us out there every day. You know that no matter what you do as a team and how hard everybody plays, that's you're not going to fill Mickey's shoes. It's it's a uh, um, it's, it's just difficult when you write those names up on the board, not right heads. It's, it, it was extremely uh, tough and. Uh, um, you know, it was something we dealt with today. I will say this, so I was proud of the players. Um, they had a team meeting today without the coaches in and, and talked how they were going to, uh, you know, carry out day-to-day -day routine. Mickey was the guy that led the stretches. Mickey was the guy that led the warm-ups. Um, you know, and they designated different guys to step up in that role, so they're just not going to have to talk about it Thursday night. I think they're preparing themselves for Thursday night. Uh, the players and the staff decided that they have a... Uh, um, basically like a lantern hanging in our room uh, with a hook. First guy in lights it, last guy leave, uh, um, blows it out. And so Mickey's always going to be with us there. And uh, his stall is, uh, uh, the guys decide that it won't change. Game nights, his, his shirt and socks go in, his game tickets go in just like everybody else. And uh, again, he, he's always going to be with us and uh, we don't want that to change. And uh, we're going to carry on a couple traditions now. Um, that was that was all the players uh, doing, and I'm proud of them for that. Well, basically, what we want to do is uh, to get the guys back together again, and, and go over a few things that uh, uh, Bob already uh, kind of told you guys. Uh, some uh, pregame warm-ups that we have that Mickey uh, ran and stuff like that, and we kind of want to get that stuff figured out now, uh, going into Thursday's game. So, uh, you know, when Thursday does roll around, we're not uh, our minds are on the game, and they're not on uh, you know what we should be doing as far as. Uh, that aspect goes, and uh, like you said, a few things with the stall, Mickey stall, and uh, uh, the lantern, uh, you know, things of that sort of stuff that we want to do uh, as a team for Mickey, and um, you know how we're going to move on from here and to try and get back to, to business here, and uh, that's um, you know where we were before, and that's we want to win hockey games, and uh, you know even more so now for Mick. So.